Yeah, Bill and Candace, we're talking the 7th Congressional District. Congresswoman Abigail Spanberger is running for a second term against Republican Delegate Nick Freitas. Now, how Spanberger won in 2018 is pretty telling. So we held, uh, headed to the Chesterfield suburbs to talk to voters about how this election. I had Freitas there, too. A sign is missing from Norma Kane's front yard but she knows where it went. We couldn't get it to stick in the ground. The third one kept falling down. The lifelong Republican is backing Delegate Nick Freitas for the 7th Congressional seat. Religious and personal freedoms, topper issues for why. I just think he has a strength about him. And when he, when he, when he speaks, he, he, he says what he means and he means what he says. Kane lives in a part of the Chesterfield suburbs that flipped blue in 2018. Congresswoman Abigail Spanberger won Chesterfield County by 10,000 votes and Henrico by 20,000. Political watchers say those margins propelled her to the seat and showed a shift in politics in the Richmond suburbs, which traditionally favored Republicans. I don't think that's true. Well, I would like to see Virginia go red. <laughs> the whole state, but I'm not anticipating that to happen. The Freitas campaign says there is not an above all approach to voters, but says people in the Richmond suburbs recently saw firsthand the effects of Democratic leadership during protests, some of which led to destruction. Similarly, the Spanberger campaign says their focus remains on issues important to all voters, health care, drug costs, and COVID-19 relief. My parents and I have always been real open to let anybody put a sign up. Henry Coulter's family doesn't care about party affiliation. They only have one rule for putting up political signs on their old 100 road property. If you ask first, you get permission. If you don't ask first, you don't get permission and you get banned for three years. Spanberger signs now sit on the property. It so happens that Coulter is also backing her. I didn't care for what the way Canada was not representing us, so I supported Brat, and then Brat turned into a, a new Canner. And then Abby came along and has, has been open to everybody and has been very pleasant. Coulter says he's an independent, but says Spanberger won his vote again by consistently listening to the concerns of all constituents and breaking with Democrats on some issues. I've never met Freitas, and but um, you know, I've seen negative ads about both of them, but she's already there, she's already doing the job, and it's like, keep doing the job. Spanberg and Freitas will actually debate tonight. It starts at 7 o'clock here in less than an hour. You can watch on Virginia Public Media or any of VPM's social media channels. If you'd like to read more about the suburban vote and the messages from both, uh, both campaigns, head on over to WTVR.com. Working for you in Chesterfield, Jake Burns, CBS 6 News.